are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, let's talk about undisputed Shannon Sharp. One thing that really bothers me now about sports in general, man, is the race card. It's woke. We get that. It's completely woke. But the woke sports media, man, is playing the race card and they are coming hard with this whole Tim Tebow, Colin Kaepernick thing. Okay. now I don't even know why Colin Kaepernick's name even came up. Uh, Tim Tebow, as soon as his name pops up, he's going to be signing with the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. The World Sports Media went nuts. And they scream, why isn't Colin Kaepernick getting an opportunity, even though Colin Kaepernick has had three opportunities. But what Shannon Sharp said, man. This is why sports is dead with his comments. He actually does believe, man, that. That Tim Tebow is benefiting from white privilege. Now, guys, why do I have to be the Tim Tebow defender on this? I already told you guys this is a stunt. It is. He's not going to make the team. The only reason why he actually even got this opportunity is because of one Urban Meyer. That's it. End of story. But I don't think he's going to make the team. But I have to defend Tim Tebow on this. I really do. But first, guys, make sure you guys go over to blackandwhitenetwork.com. Sign up and become a member today. We have two different membership plans. Bronze and silver plan. We post private videos over there to the website. And if you're on the silver plan, you get additional videos. And also you get to be on a panel on member only live streams with me and Rose talking about pretty much whatever you want to talk about. But if you do, you can't do any of that, just consider giving a one time donation by clicking the donation tab or shopping for the merch. Use the discount code LaChana Sucks, S-U-S, all one word. And we're going to give you 15 percent off folks. So. Here we go, guys. And I watched this whole episode of uh, Undisputed, actually this segment here a few days ago. And I really should have jumped on it immediately. But uh, I'm doing it now. So it is what it is at this point. But I knew that Shannon Sharp was going to race bait the hell out of this thing. And he's done it, man. It says here, Shannon Sharp says Tim Tebow's NFL return is because of privilege. Benefits of being straight, white, white evangelical male. Wow, man. Wow. He is going there, man. Shannon Sharp is actually really going to go there. He is. Why do I have to defend Tim Tebow? I don't want to have to defend him. Okay. He got an opportunity. He's going to take advantage of it. Your boy, Colin Kaepernick, he had opportunities. He didn't want to take advantage of it. He wanted to do his own thing. He wants to be a professional victim. Tim Tebow just wants to be a professional athlete. So I support his right to actually go out there and be a professional athlete. But it says here he hasn't played in an NFL regular season game in nine years. But Tim Tebow is returning to the league with a new position. Fox Sports' Shannon Sharp says Tebow's opportunity with the Jacksonville Jaguars is because of privilege, not talent. Quote, let's be all the way 100. Sharp said after noting he doesn't want to make this a race issue, but yet you did make it a race issue, Shannon Sharp. Anyway, Tim Tebow is a straight, white, evangelical male. There are benefits that come along with being that. Let's not say, oh no, that has nothing to do with that bull jive. Everybody that's listening to my voice understands that there are privileges that come along with that. So, Shannon Sharp, man. Hall of Famer, a great tight end himself, you know, and maybe Shannon Sharp is a little bit salty, but, you know, because he played tight end at a very, very high level, man. But I got to slam Shannon Sharp on this. Him being a, a straight white male has nothing to do with this. And by the way, guys, there is nothing at all wrong with being a straight white male. Guys, 99 percent of those guys that play in the NFL are what, regardless of race. They're straight. There are white guys out there, too. Tom Brady's the GOAT. Nothing wrong with him being white whatsoever, you know. And the Wolf Sports Media always tries to race bait him into something, and he never falls for that banana and tailpipe. And then he goes, 
evangelical male. He's a Christian. Wow. Guess what, guys? 70% of people in this country, regardless of race, are Christians. Shannon Sharp, the man across from you, Skip Bayless, is a Christian. So what is wrong with Tim Tebow actually being a straight, white, evangelical male? He's not getting this opportunity for any of those reasons. He's getting this uh, opportunity strictly because of Urban Meyer, who he knows. Guys, I work in the professional world, and I'm pretty sure, you know, most of you guys do, too. You have gotten your jobs for the most part. Why? Because of people who you know. And you know what? During this episode of Undisputed, by the way, Michael Vick came on there and he didn't even buy into Shannon Sharp playing this race car because Michael Vick said that he can call up somebody right now and get a look. Michael Vick, you know, he's a quarterback. You know, I believe he's like 40 years old. He's done. He's he's retired already. But he said he can pick up his phone right now and get a look from somebody because of who he knows. That is the way jobs work. Now, this is not going to work out whatsoever for Tim Tebow, I believe, when it comes to him being a a uh, tight end. He's never played the position. I don't think it's going to happen. I really, really don't. This, I believe, is not going to end well. And, you know, if he doesn't even make the team, you know, he has a huge following over there in that area of Florida right there. And if he doesn't make the team, you know, the fans may actually, you know, be upset because I'm pretty sure the Tebow maniacs out there want to see him play. But my criticism of this has nothing to do with race whatsoever. Nothing. The man has never played tight end. And now you expect him, you know, to go up there and make the team as a tight end. Nah, I don't see that happening. I really, really don't see that happening. But the Walt Sports Media like Shannon Sharp. He actually believes that white privilege race is playing a part in that, man. Let me say this, man. If you listen, if you're a black person out there and you listen to Shannon Sharp, man, trust me. Your confidence is, is going to be destroyed because he's basically saying, man, if you're black, you don't get these opportunities, even though Michael Vick said that he can pick up the phone right now. And Michael Vick is black and he could probably get the same kind of opportunity that, uh, that uh, Tim Tebow is getting right now, even though Michael Vick, you know, Michael Vick was a tremendous athlete. He was a quarterback, but, you know, he was similar to Tebow, much more accurate, you know, throwing the football because he was actually able to make Pro Bowls as a quarterback. Light years better, but they both have great legs, man. Michael Vick can run. Tim Tebow can run. So, but this whole race baiting thing, man, this is what is destroying sports, man. This is why the NBA is dead. This is another reason why NFL ratings were down. All of this race baiting in sports, man. This is why we say that the media is the real virus, man, because they spew all of this stuff out there, race baiting left and right. Because they want us to be divisive. Tim Tebow is not the first uh, white male to get an opportunity, regardless if you think he can play or not. I mean, hell, when uh, Jamarcus Russell got drafted number one overall, number one overall, black guy quarterback, I said, man, that guy, he can't play. And I was right. He was a bus. He was absolute trash. So I don't want to hear anything about the race car getting played over here. I really, really don't, man. This is ridiculous, man. Shannon Sharp, man. I I used to have a lot of respect for Shannon Sharp. But over the past year, man, he has just been race baiting, defending LaChana James left and right, man. It's gotten so ridiculous with him. It really, really has, man. For him to say that Tim Tebow being a straight, white, evangelical male, he got to bring religion into it. That's the only reason why he's getting this opportunity. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this, black and white sports fans? Let us know what you guys think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time.
Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.